During the pandemic, digital technologies are more present in our lives than ever before. We communicate every day as flat digital versions of ourselves, our physical bodies never connecting in this virtual space. This brave new physically distanced world tips the scales of communication towards vocality. The loss of our physical presence has shifted meaning in favor of analog speech. Unlike our eyes that see digital images, our ears don't hear digitally. Digitized audio must be converted back to analog before being heard, air being the sole medium of sound. The ability to digitize sound has allowed almost anyone to record and edit audio. This has led to the incredible growth of podcasting. And it makes sense that it's growing, especially now when the ability to embody our presence through voice is more critical than it's ever been. As a digital humanities scholar, I'm interested in bringing the human before the digital. To do this, I'm creating podcasts as public scholarship, working at this unique intersection of sound, performance, and literary studies. My thesis models the potential for podcasts to thrive within the academy. This pandemic has forced us to reevaluate how we live in the world, how we teach, how we learn, but it's also sunk us deeper into the grip of technology. Poets point us back to meaningful human relationships. There isn't a huge fan base for performed poetry, but it helps us to hear differently. Poets make things new again by challenging how we listen. Traditionally, Print has been privileged within the academy. Its authority for some comes from its ability to remain static. We refer back to it. If it's written, we can be convinced it's true. The spoken word leaves as soon as it arrives at your ears. But I argue that sound connects us to our deeper selves, the voice within each of us. My podcast series, The Numinous Reel, is based on the reels of tape the poets from the 50s and 60s used to record on. This podcast series will help us hear this voice, which can point us back towards what matters most, our shared humanity. In the pre-digital age, media guru Marshall McLuhan theorized this. We shape our tools and thereafter our tools shape us. Digital tools like artificial intelligence and machine learning need to be controlled. He must have seen the robots coming. Let's heed his warning. The robots aren't coming, they're here. It's time to lift up our heads from our digital devices and with our always analog voices, speak out for putting our humanity first.